Today I'm here to talk a little bit about the Rolodex system. If you purchased one, you may be a little bit confused about the different components that are to be used. You can see this kit is set up with the most basic configuration. This is what we call a standard conventional bolt-on setup. And we're using the three-inch slide on this one. But that's not what we need for this Super Duty Ford, which has a four-inch lift. What we're going to need on this one is the one-inch clip-on style nylon set screw. This is our hardware kit. But the way you identify out of the six different base plates which one you need to use, as you can see, this has the one-inch bore. This is going to be for any type of Ford or Chrysler, Dodge Ram pickup, where there's no bolt for the wiper. It just slips over and then has a, set, uh, has a clip to remove the wiper. You'll notice there's a little board out threaded hole on the side that goes adjacent to the post. You're going to want to run the nylon socket set screw into that hole. Second, get it onto the post. Because it's so close to the hood, it may be easier in this one to invert the tool. And you'll notice also on this one that there's two sets of threaded holes for the mount from the base plate. And this is why, because if you need to invert the base plate, then you can use a second series of holes so that you maintain better fulcrum or leverage towards the center of the post as opposed to being on the edge of the plate. So that is the purpose and reason why each base plate has a second set of holes so that you can have a little bit more of adjustment, a little bit more freedom to adjust the tool. Now, you can see with this adjustment, and Lloyd, if you could come over from, come down and come over from the side so they can get a better vantage point. You can see with a standard configuration, you're way too high off the windshield to get a, the proper angle for a set. And that's why your hardware kit comes with two sets of, of longer screws. You have a, a medium sized screw, which is for a single drop, what we call a single drop. And you have over two inch screw for a double drop. Every hardware kit includes four of these spacers, two for a single drop, and then four to combine for a double drop. In this case, you can see the distance between the tool and the glass exceeds that of the length of the bolt. So that's going to give you enough room for a double drop. So what you're going to want to do at this point is go ahead and remove your locking screws or set screws for the conventional setting. Insert. Now you'll notice that this bolts on from underneath on a conventional setting. But with a drop down configuration, you're actually inverting the two pieces to give you that adjustment that you need. So you send the bolt down from the top. like so, insert your spacers, double up, go ahead and start the thread, and some of you might be saying, well that seems like a lot to have to do. Well. I, I can just go ahead and wing it up there. Well, think about all the damage that you're doing to your back every time you just wing it up there, especially something this tall. Furthermore, think about what if you're a half inch off or you roll that bead or you don't get it placed correctly and you end up with a wind noise. How much does a callback cost you? If you have to drive 20 minutes, burn the fuel, spend an extra 30, 45 minutes or an hour correcting something that could have been done correctly the first time. 
Now, you'll see that that's an optimum height above the pinch wall. The wheels are well clear of the windshield and the urethane, but it's close enough to where you can get the optimum setting. Glass is cut free and resting in the opening, so I just get a hold of the glass, gently lift up on it, slide my tool up under the glass like so, place the rollers against the bottom of the windshield, lock my set screws, and the tool is ready to use. Lloyd, how much time has run off on the chronometer since we started? Five minutes, 46 seconds. Okay, including all my step-by-step -step explaining each piece to be used on this job, took a little over five minutes, and the tool is ready to use. There's really no more to do with the tool, except once the windshield is set, the new windshield, is just remove it, which takes nothing. If you become proficient at this tool and, the, and its uses, you can have this tool set up even with the most oddest configuration like this within less than two minutes. It's well worth it. Now, go ahead and remove your temporary tape. And Lloyd, you can take your position back on the ladder. <clears throat> oh, one other thing I'd like to mention. Uh, some of the feedback I get from some people is they don't, they can't get over setting the windshield from the passenger side. Well, in this case, you can see the tool is actually further towards the passenger side from center, which makes the driver's side optimum to set from. I, for one, have always gotten used to setting from the passenger side, so that's how I do it. But I, in some cases, I'll set from the driver's side because it's necessary. It's really not necessary for me on this one because it's so close to center. But if it's more than the width of the tool, like if, if more, if the center of the windshield is beyond where the tool is resting, I don't recommend setting from that same side of the tool because you have too much weight of the glass on the other side. However, I think it's easier for me, even if I'm setting from a side I'm not used to, to let the tool manage all the weight. You see that? I'm holding this windshield with two fingers. The tool is balancing the weight. I'm not struggling at all. I'm standing on a plank that's suspended on two buckets because this truck is so high. So the weight of the glass is not trying to pull me off the bucket. It's not pulling me into the fender. When I roll it, see how easy that moves? It's, it's smooth, smooth action. I got my hand palming at the top. I got my hand palming at the bottom. Smooth action. I can bring the glass all the way to my center of gravity. See, my hand is right at the logo, which is the center of the windshield. I'm not leaning over to lift this glass. Now I have the full weight of the glass. To reverse the process, say this is new, I'm properly gloved and I have a suction cup in place. I can lean over, set this onto the tool, keep it well clear of the urethane, roll it over, line up my set, gently lower it down, and see how even at this angle, I'm still not struggling to control this thing. I can get it close, take my time about my set. Eyeball it. Place it on one side, place it on the other. Understanding that the only place where I've actually made contact to the vehicle is at the top, and it's uniform contact. It's not coming in at an angle, it's not smearing my bead. That's the purpose of the roll deck, and that's what's so brilliant about this thing. Think of it this way. You have devices out there that cost thousands of dollars to do exactly what I had just done with this tool that retails for $749. But what is the cost? Is it more than just a thousand, over thousands of dollars that you invest in the tool? What about your cost for time? You saw how quick and easy that was to use, even in an extreme case like this one. I bring it out to my center of gravity, lift away, and I'm safe. I'm not killing my back. Step down, and we're free. When precision and ease is a must, it's the Rolodeck you can trust. You should order yours today, www.rolodeck.net. Hit the red.